Okay, so um, we also want to install the WDS role onto the, the server um, so we can pixie boot into the MDT um, managed uh, images that we want to deploy. Um, so pixie boot makes it very, very simple, and we can do that using now WDS. So I'm just going into server manager here, and I'm going to add roles and features, um, or I will, obviously, when it's ready. That's what you get for not being impatient. So try again, manage, add roles and features. Next, yep, next. Yep, this is the server. Okay, so we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and you're gonna be looking for window deployment services, WDS for short. And of course, you're gonna add in the extra features that it requires anyway. So I'm gonna hit next. And then we don't need anything from the next page, so we're going to hit next, next, and yes, we're going to leave everything as default, and then we're going to install. So this is going to take a little bit of time. Okay, so it's finished, so we can close that, we can close that. And then we can obviously go in and open up our newly installed Windows deployment services. You can go ahead and pin this as well, really, because you may occasionally need this as well. So I'm going to pin that down into the taskbar as well. Um, so at the moment, if you expand the servers, you can see there's a warning sign because it isn't running and it needs to be configured. So you're going to go ahead and right-click on that and configure server. Um, you can read that if you if you desire. I'm going to integrate mine into the Active Directory. You can do it as standalone. Um, I just prefer to integrate it into AD and leave everything standard. Again, I've got a warning there about keeping my boot images on the C drive. I mean, ideally you'd put them on another one. And then here, I'm going to say I want to respond to all client computers. Again, read the options and you choose the one that's right for you. But, um, I don't know why I left add images there because I've got no images to add at the moment. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel that. Okay, so yeah, we're going to create some boot images next and then import them into WDS. Okay, so I'm going to go back into MDT and we are going to import an, an operating system. So I'm just going to add my operating system because I've got it as an ISO, so I'm going to mount it as a, a disk drive um, image. I'm going to go into my share. Um, and I'm going to install Windows 7 SP 164 bit. Um, so I've mounted that. So back in MDT, import operating system on the right click on the op operating systems. And we're going to source locate this. So I'm using source files as the original disk. Select it, and then we're going to hit next. Now I'm going to leave the default name, because it is Windows 7 x64. Then we're going to go ahead and let that do its importing job, which shouldn't take too much time. Obviously, you can go ahead and import as many operating systems as you desire. No, it doesn't have to be Windows 7. You could have imported Windows 8, 8.1. Slowly but surely, it's importing our um, image from a Windows 7 SP1 X64 disk. Reaching the end now. Okay, great. Finished, finally. Got there. There's, there you can see Windows 7 Professional. So now that we've uh, got our OS installed Windows 7 64-bit, we need to um, update the deployment share. You'll have to do this occasionally um, when you make changes. Um, so this will take quite a long time. Um, and I'll show you where it 
creates the, the files that we're going to need to import into WDS. So you're going to go to your, wherever you saved your deployment share, which I put on my C drive rather naughtily, and then your deployment share and then the boot folder. And it's going to start creating files in there. And in particular, there's a, a WIM file that you're going to need. Um, it's going to create two. It's going to create a 32-bit one and a 64-bit one. And you're going to need to import one or both or into WDS, whatever you decide, um, depending on what you're deploying. I tend to deploy 64-bit images nowadays, so um, I'll import 64-bit primarily. But I'll import both just to show you how easy it is. So this will take some time, um, but if you keep an eye on the folder there, it will start generating files and folders that we're going to need. So as this reaches the end of um, its process of updating the deployment share, um, we'll just take a quick look to make sure it's uh, created all of the, uh, the files that we expect. So you go ahead and close that. And then you see in that boot folder it's created two WIM files there, a 64 and a 32-bit one. So you're going to open WDS, you're going to head into your server, you're going to head into boot images and you're going to right click on boot images and add boot image and then we're going to browse to that boot folder. So wherever yours is stored, so ours is on the C drive, deployment share, boot, and then I'm going to import the 64-bit one first. Dot wim. It won't take any time. It'll be quick, quick and painless, unlike some of the other processes. And then set the same process again for the uh, x86 version, 32 bit version. As simple as that, you've then got your Pixie boot server ready to rock and roll, basically. Um, so then next we're going to boot a client um, using F12. And then uh, see what options we get. Right. Okay. So we've we've got a Windows Seven client here, or it's gonna be. Um, so I'm just gonna pixie boot this, uh, booting into the uh, boot menu. To select the network card. And then it's going to uh, find our server, which is being broadcast over DHCP, and you're going to press F12 to boot from that. And then obviously it's going to show those two WIM files we imported, the 32-bit and the 64-bit. I'm choosing the 64-bit because I, ultimately I'm, I want to restore a 64-bit image. Um, so as you can see here, it's got the IP address there of um, our uh, MDT server this one which is locked itself there we are, so those are those two options we were presented with at the beginning 64-bit 8, x86-bit, we're booting the 64-bit one so this is the, the pre-installation environment, Windows pre-installation environment and then from here we'll, we'll look at in um, future screencasts um, customizing images being managed by MDT. Um, so this will follow on. So we'll just show you this booting in and then in future video we'll show you where you go from there. Okay, so that's booting in. You can see it looks a lot like Windows 8. And there you have it.